What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can preload the Black Ops 3 Eclipse DLC, including the upcoming Zetsubo no Shima Zombies map, onto your PlayStation before the official release of this DLC. Now what a preload means is that you are able to download the entire DLC all 7 gigabytes for the Eclipse DLC, however you unfortunately will not be able to access any of the maps until the official release of this DLC, however, this is going to be very beneficial because as soon as the official release of this DLC happens, you guys will immediately be able to jump right into the action and of course play the upcoming Zitsuba no Shima map. So guys, let's try to smash out over 500 likes on today's video, showing you guys how to preload the Zetsuba no Shima map, and with that being said, let's get started with today's video. Alright guys, so the first thing that you need to go ahead and do is create a brand new PlayStation account. It doesn't matter where you live, just make sure that you create a brand new account. However, if you are from the United States, make sure that you create an account from a different country. However, if you live anywhere besides the United States, the next PlayStation account that you guys create, I believe it can also be in the same location that you live. I could be wrong, but just go ahead and try it for yourself. Again, if you do live in the United States, make sure that you create an account, for example, somewhere in the United Kingdom. Once you guys do that, go ahead and sign into your account, and what you guys need to do from here is go to the PlayStation Store, and once you guys are here, you need to find Black Ops 3, so you guys can do this by either searching it up, scrolling down to the games, it doesn't really matter, but once you guys have found Black Ops 3, go on to the add-ons of the game, and locate the Eclipse DLC. Once you guys have done that, you need to pre-order the Eclipse DLC itself. So simply click on it, accept all of the terms, do all of that. Now mine may look a little bit different from your guys's, just because I had done this previously and I'm revisiting it just to record this video for you guys, but I can assure you that this does work. So again, go ahead and confirm the purchase for the Eclipse DLC. But guys, keep in mind, this will not actually charge your account. I have no money in this brand new account that I created, so there's absolutely no way that money can be taken out of my account. So again, confirm all of the purchase for the Eclipse DLC, you will not be charged for it. But once you guys have confirmed the purchase, the download for the Eclipse DLC needs to be initiated, so go ahead and activate that. Once you guys have done all of that, what you now need to do is go on to your computer, whether that be your PC or your Mac, and go to the PlayStation website. Now once you guys are here, you need to make your way over to the account settings and then go to your purchase history. Now I had to blur the screen a little bit just because it displayed my personal email, but it's really easy to navigate once you guys are here. So go ahead and find your transaction history and then it will show that you had ordered the Eclipse DLC, but again, you didn't actually purchase it. So once you guys have found it, click on it and go ahead and cancel your pre-order. As soon as you guys have canceled your pre-order, you guys are now set. You guys can now go back to your PlayStation and what you guys can do from here is sign out of the other account that you had newly created in order to download the Eclipse DLC, sign back into your original account, make your way over to the downloads and as you guys will be able to see you are now officially downloading or preloading the Black Ops 3 Eclipse DLC. So guys hopefully you did go on to enjoy today's video and if you did make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe so you never miss a future Black Ops 3 Zombies video video uploaded here on my channel. As I said earlier, let's try to smash out over 500 likes on today's video by sharing this video with your friends and on Twitter. But with that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next Zombies video. And until next time, guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.